Good morning, Arts Academy, and welcome back to the newsroom on this Wednesday morning. How's everybody doing? Good? Bad? Somewhere in between? Yeah, me too. It's a midweek slump, you know? We can't go over it. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go under it. We have to go through it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think some time in the newsroom will help, though. Today is Wednesday, February 7th. 2024. Today, our skies are projected to be mostly sunny with a high of 46 degrees. Last week was the start of Black History Month, an inspiring month of change makers, brave fighters, and compassionate human beings who fought for equality. Teachers, please make sure that you are keeping the newsroom informed of how you are commemorating this important month. Announcement for parents. Tomorrow, February 8th at 6 p.m., we will have an enrollment session for new students. Also, along in that, with that same vein uh, of enrollment, if you are already enrolled in our school and are returning next year, you can actually confirm your intent to return in Jupiter by answering a yes or no question. Uh, this is not required, though. What is required, however, is that families who want to enroll a new sibling do have to fill out an application, so keep that in mind. Uh, flyers about this have been printed to go home, so be sure to do the old Duggaroo in your kids' backpack to see that, okay? Uh, last week, we welcomed some fresh faces to our building, and so we'd just like to formally introduce them in the newsroom. Welcome aboard our certified school nurse, Miss Ide, second grade IST, Miss Moritz, and kindergarten para, Miss Mullinax. It's like Olive Garden. When you're here, you're family. Okay, um, speaking of family and good vibes, students in Miss Scarce's class did something really, well, pretty cool. After reading and discussing the book One Word for Kids, a book designed to inspire and empower kids to find a word to help them have a great year, students in Miss Scarce's class each came up with their own powerful one words, and they wanted to share them with you. They hope you enjoy this video. My one word for 2024 is courage. I chose this word because I want everybody to feel courage. I can accomplish this by being nice and then getting courage. What's your one word? My word for 24 is friendship. I choose this word because it makes me feel happy like a type of way. I can live this word by being a good friend. Friendship is more important than words. What's your one word? Hi, my name is Olivia. My one word for 2024 is kind. I chose this word because it is sweet to show kindness to people. I can live this word by being kind because it's full of kindness. What's your one word? My one word for 2024 is sweet. I chose this word because I it is kind and a nice word. I can live this word by thinking about it. What's your one word? My one word for 2024 is hope. I choose this word because I'm positive. I can achieve this word by listening to my feelings. What's your one word? My one word for 2024 is intelligent. I chose this word because I would like to understand more things. I can live this word by learning more and working hard. What is your one word? My one word is, um, for 2024 is love. I chose this word because this reminds me of my dad. I can live my um I can live my my one word by loving myself and loving what people give me. What's your one word? My one word for 2024 is brave. I chose this word because I want everyone to stick up for people. I can achieve this word by being brave to stick up to help people that are being a bully. What's your one word? Hi, I'm Anna. My one word for 2024 is brave. I chose this word because it will help me be good and fantastic. I can live this word by living my word and living in myself. What's your one word? 
2024 is read. I told this word because I like to write stories for people to read. I can accomplish, achieve, and live this word by th paying attention during reading class. What's your one word? Well, third grade, I have a word to describe that project, and it is incredible. Miss Scarce, you always come up with the best project projects for your students um, to do, and third graders, you just motivated me to come up with my own word as well. I haven't figured it out yet, but when I do, I'll report back. Okay, at this time, let us please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, y'all, this is Mrs. Casey wishing you whatever day you want to have because it's like our third graders taught us, man. You are the captain of your ship.